Daming Indian angels taso. Daming angels taas. Hindi. Sila light ko. Ito na yan eh Punong puno ng tao Hindi, hindi, hindi Akit ko na yan? Oo Doon, doon, sa labasan Sa labasan Ha? Sama yun doon? Sasama yun Doon sasama yun sa kanila? Ang malawang punta ko na dito pa Panimutan ko na eh Saan nga yung daanan na? Tayo. Dito may souvenir shop din dito Sibila
enjoy watching. We and the apple tree. A long time ago, there was a huge apple tree. A little boy loved to come and play around it every day. He climbed to the tree top, ate the apples, and took a nap under the shadow. He loved the tree, and the tree loved to play with him. Time went by. The little boy had grown up, and he no longer played around the tree every day. One day, the boy came back to the tree, and he looked sad. Come and play with me," the tree asked the boy. "I'm no longer a kid. I do not play around trees anymore," the boy replied. "I want toys. I need money to buy them." "Sorry, but I do not have money. But you can pick all my apples and sell them, so you will have money." The boy was excited. He grabbed all the apples on the tree and left happily. The boy never came back after he picked the apples. The tree was sad. One day, the boy who now turned into a man returned, and the tree was excited. "Come and play with me," the tree said. "I do not have time to play. I have to work for my family." We need a house for shelter. Can you help? Sorry, but I do not have any house. But you can chop off my branches to build your house. So the man cut all the branches of the tree and left happily. The tree was glad to see him happy, but the man never came back since then. The tree was again lonely and sad. When hot summer day, the man returned, and the tree was delighted. Come and play with me, the tree said. I'm getting old. I want to go sailing to relax myself. Can you give me a boat? Said the man. Use my trunk to build your boat. You can sail far away and be happy. So the man cut the tree trunk to make a boat. He went sailing and never showed up for a long time. <laughs> Finally, the man returned after many years. Sorry, my boy, but I do not have anything for you anymore. No more apples for you. The tree said. No problem. I do not have any teeth to bite. The man replied, "No more trunk for you to climb on. I'm too old for that now." The man replied, "I really cannot give you anything. The only thing left is my dying roots." The priest said with tears, "I do not need much now. Just a place to rest. I'm tired." After all these years, the man replied, "Good old tree roots are the best place to lean on and rest. Come sit down with me and rest." Dad sat down, and the tree was glad and smiled with tears. This is the story of everyone. The tree is like our parents. When we were young, we loved to play with our mom and dad. When we grow up, we leave them, only come to them when we need something or when we are in trouble. No matter what, parents will always be there and give everything they could just to make you happy. You may think the boy is cruel to the tree, but that is how all of us treat our parents. We take them for granted. We don't appreciate all they do for us until it's too late. May God forgive us for our shortcomings and may He guide us.